Hello, this is Christian Mo of Taos Day Labs, back for the August Lithobreak update. So first, I want to bring attention to our continued work implementing hexagons into Lithobreak. Through painstaking research and countless engineering simulations, we have concluded that hexagons are indeed the bestagons. This proves to us that the more hexagons we implement, the better the experience will be and we will stop at nothing to deliver the greatest game possible. Therefore, even more hexagons are in the pipeline for the continuing UI improvements and new game mechanics on the horizon. 120 degrees is greater than 90 degrees. It has been proven. All right, moving on. We now have UI windows working for all ceramic equipment. These windows are also show the states that each equipment is along the top line. You will also notice many other UI improvements along the way as I give a quick demo showing them all in action. To begin, all the ceramic equipment can be placed, constructed, and configured. So let's start off by placing a silo. Even before finishing construction, the silo can be configured to buffer any material that is currently being produced in the site. Since we are only producing regolith, this is the only option shown. Now, since we are not providing ceramic parts yet, the silo is not completing construction. So let's move over to the printer to make some parts. I will place down another printer for redundancy and configure both to make all the structural ceramic parts. However, regolith just doesn't cut it for me, as its poor material properties result in fragile parts. So let's select the relatively easy to produce silica, which we will produce from a sifter. Now, regolith will enter the sifter, which will produce silica. The silica will then be taken over to the printer to make parts, which will be used to construct equipment. Let's place down a second sifter and produce alumina as well, so that it can make specialty materials, which can be produced in the mixer. The mixer will take in multiple starting materials to produce materials with blended material properties. Finally, let's switch back to construction and managing the parts being produced by introducing the warehouse. This equipment stores parts and can be quickly configured to store all the parts used in other pieces of equipment. Storing parts will drastically increase construction and repair times for all equipment. Speaking of repair, let's now transition to talking about the new part damage mechanics and rendering. Keeping with the idea of every part eventually breaking, we have taken that one step further and integrated it into the rendering visuals of the game. Parts now visually show where, as the equipment is used and the individual parts health drop. The idea is that at a glance, you can tell the relative health of a piece of equipment based upon how the individual part looks. On a more technical note, we have switched from DirectX 12 to DirectX 11 for the foreseeable future for smoother gameplay and compatibility. To enhance performance, we have implemented equipment rendering optimizations that drastically increase frame rates. Furthermore, some refined part models are being produced by our artist Ali, which not only enhance the visuals but also boosts performance even further. All of these improvements mean that the multiplayer beta should be able to run on even more systems than ever before.
as mentioned previously, there is a multiplayer beta coming up soon. As this very feature was moved forward in development by the community's feedback, we are also looking for feedback to help shape the final implementation of the multiplayer feature. Sign up for the beta on the Steam Store page to secure your spot. There are still open spots for the first round. So, we've covered ceramic equipment, part visuals, and the performance improvements. Lots of progress has been made in the month of August to bring us so much closer to that multiplayer beta on the horizon. Thanks to the team for your great work. Uh, please like this video, follow us, and join our ever-growing community. Feel free to reach out to us from wherever you may be viewing this, um, or jumping on over to our Discord. All links and information can be found at lithobreak.com or taustadylabs.com. Uh, thank you for watching. Join us on this incredible journey as we make Lithobreak the game you didn't know you were waiting for. This has been Mo of Tau City Labs. Stay safe in the verse.